Hi guys, okay, great. I found the other bag. It's VI Life with Kelly. Thank you so much for tuning in with my um cook me cook with me series. Okay, last day of October, guys. Wrapping it up with a bow. Um, if you watched the last video, I was showing you guys what I picked up from the store so you could get an idea on what you need um to get started. But anyway, I couldn't find um a few of the items so I found the bag it was behind stuff so anyway um let me just show you guys I'm gonna show y'all here's the items but what I'm gonna do is um just pick them up one by one like I did a minute ago um and I found the avocado too my be my eyes volunteers rock you guys thank you so much for all of your time at be my eyes okay so I, this is the sage I picked up from Kroger this is the sage I don't know how much it is you guys but it says a holiday favorite on it that's cute and it's sage I got it from Kroger in the produce department I absolutely love that sage last year when I made my cornbread dressing this makes a huge difference there's a big difference between using the ground sage or the sage seasoning versus the fresh sage in your dressing trust me if you've never tried it try it this year you're gonna be like whoa and you're never gonna go back you're gonna always use fresh sage if you're making cornbread dressing or whatever dressing you choose to make you may be using um different substitutes okay here are the shallots that i was telling you guys about that's um in the two pack i also got this from Publix. i didn't get this from kroger i got this from Publix, and um it's not sure how much that was either okay the next thing i wanted to show you guys was the cheese remember i told y'all i had the shredded cheese one pound it's the craft um sharp cheddar is right here and then i got the mild cheddar i don't know if this is the front or the back but forgive me um but here it is so hopefully um y'all can see that anyway it's the mild cheddar and it was at Publix it was buy one buy one get one free okay and then um what else was I supposed to show you guys I was gonna show you guys um all the avocados how come they keep disappearing that's like the hardest thing to show you guys because they keep disappearing okay here's my salad um and I was just looking at them because, oh, here they are, guys. Here's the bag of avocados that I get. I get them from Target. So, um, there's like five avocados in here, and these are ripe. I got these actually today's, um, when you're watching this, this is Sunday. I got these like on Thursday, and um, they're already ready. They were green when I got them, and this is from Mexico. These are Haas. I don't know how you say that. Haas avocados um, from Mexico. Love, love, love produce from Mexico, guys. I love produce from Mexico. Okay. Um. So anyway, those are the avocados we're going to use for the Caesar salad. And I'm getting ready to go over here and make these cookies. So let's see if I can, um, if I can. Um, one thing that we're missing for the cornbread dressing is celery and we're missing our croutons so um i'm leaving my dining area that's where my deep freezer is and um that's where everything was setting so i'm leaving my deep freezer and um coming into my kitchen and let me turn this off because i don't want copyright guys anyway hope y'all aren't getting dizzy yo i'm done baby do it natural lay because I'm every woman. <laughs> get it. Get it, Whitney. I wish they didn't have copyright, guys. I really did. I really wish they didn't do that. Especially for me. Because y'all already know. Um, I'm not able to edit on my own 100%. So, you know, I can't do those fun things. Now, you guys already know Charles is upset. He wants to be in the kitchen with us, and he also said it's too early in the morning for this. He wants to get his rest. So, anyway, let me see. 
Let me try this real quick. I'm gonna turn the take my ear pod out, which just means it's gonna be able to hear y'all are gonna be able to hear voiceover. They're telling me that I'm in the center or not. Let's see. He hasn't said Okay, so he says I'm centered over here. So let me move the camera a little bit over here. Okay, it already says I'm centered right here. Now let me see. So what we're about to do, we're about to make these cookies first and then we're gonna um go from there. So let me make sure. Yeah, it says I'm centered right here. Let's see if Charles will shut up. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna try. Okay guys. So Okay, guys. Let me make sure y'all can't just look in the laundry room or anything. So my laundry room is closed. Um, let me get what I need. Mean. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, guys. I'm getting ready to get a cookie sheet out. It's gonna be loud. Hold on. So I'm using my cookie sheets. I get the um I I got these cookie sheets in particular last Christmas. Um I got them from Home Goods, okay? And they came in like a set of two. Two. Yeah, you got two of them. They were really good price for like less than 20 bucks. Okay? And these are non-stick. Alright, so what we're doing with our um what we're doing right now we're just clearing out some space because I'm going to get my um, if you guys saw me make these chocolate chip cookies um, I think that was my first upload for the cook with me series I have the, let me try to find it. Let me try to find it. I have this oil. It was like olive oil. And you could just, oh, yep, here it is, guys. And I think I got this from Target. Again. It's the spray olive oil. I just like to coat my pan. I don't know. Does anybody watch me that has a, a spaniel as well? Because they're such mommy babies, they're really, they're really sweet, but when they're really angry about you not, they do this. They do it, guys. Alright, so. Spanking, get in the crate. Hold Lola and stop it. Sorry, guys. You better be quiet. You better be quiet. Get in there. I'm trying to watch, I'm trying to do this video, so be quiet. Be a good baby for mom. Yeah, be good. Yeah, nope, don't even give me no snack. Okay guys, so I got these gingerbread. They're already pre-cut. There's 12 of them in this tray. Hopefully y'all can see them. I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. Hush! I'm gonna pull it back a little bit so you can see them. They're actually really already, they're already sectioned. This is really cute. This is making me think that if you're a person that microwaves, like that's your way of cooking, that you could actually take this plastic off and put the topsies in the microwave and eat them. I wouldn't dare do it. I don't recommend microwaving anything. Only reason why we have a microwave is because it came with the condo. But when I get my house, I will not have a microwave, guys, believe it or not. Um, I don't agree with microwaving your food. I don't agree with using the microwave at all. It adds um, radiation to your food, it kills the nutrients, and um, it increases your chances of, ha of having cancer, guys. So, um, I don't like it, guys. But that's what this makes me think. So, it makes me think it's ready for the microwave. Okay, anyway, guys, this is by Nestle, and these are their gingerbread cookies. 
Um, and like I said, there's 12 pre-cut already for you. So all I'm gonna do is literally take this out the package. And these were only two, these were on sale at Publix, two for five dollars, guys. Two for five bucks. So I just got one. The thing about Publix, you could just get one and you still get the sale. So I got it for two dollars and fifty cents. So now I've already um, pre-lined or coated my pan, my non-stick pan. It's a cookie sheet with olive oil. So my next thing that I'm going to do is now place, spread these cookies in here and then I'm gonna add my dark chocolate chips, okay? And these cookies only take eight to 10 minutes. I've already preheated my oven. Um, so these cookies are gonna be done. We're gonna go get the other clock so we can keep up with it and we're going to be done. Um, then the next thing we're going to do is get the salad together. We're going to put our, um, and no I'm wrong guys, this little tray in here is cardboard so don't you dare put that in the microwave. It's not, it's, don't, this is not one of those little pans they make that's microwave friendly this is definitely cardboard okay so here we go i've never been big about gingerbread cookies guys but i'm making them tonight or this morning whatever however you want to call me i'm making them today guys making gingerbread cookies today these are like i think these are minis or something because they come off real easy and they come off like mm, i don't know i can't really call it okay guys so mm, let me see Literally, I use the dark chocolate chips from Private Selection, which is a Kroger um, brand. I think that I ripped these cookies to oblivion. I don't think they were supposed to be this small like this, but whatever. So I probably made the cookies into 24 cookies instead of, maybe they were gingerbread men. I don't know guys, I've jacked it up, I'm very sure of that. The nice thing about making cookies is nobody cares. When you're making them for yourself, you can jack it up, it's still delicious. You just cut them however you want, bow, you're done. Okay, so we're trying to get this pan together. I got them all nice and neat in here, and I have them all everywhere over here. Wow. Anyway, okay, we got all of them out safely. So now, we, I'm just going to add some over there, call it a, okay, so now let's get our chocolate chips. Okay, I'm using the chocolate chips. Let's see where I put it. I found myself doing something. Now I don't know where my chocolate chips are. Okay, let's check one more time. Let's see if they're here. Here they are. They were at the top. You guys probably saw it. Anyway, here's the dark chocolate chips that I use. It takes me forever to use this whole um, bag. They're like little square, little blocks. Really, they're like little rectangular blocks. So anyway, let me see. I only put one in each cookie. So let me see. I just put one in the center. Going on with my life. Let me see. One in the center. One here in the center. These little itty bitty ones. I don't know. So what are what game are we watching, guys? I like having little treats. 
Like in my house, I have gumball machine. I have gumballs on the bar. Um, I have like sea salted caramel popcorn. Um, I actually, I got my daughter um, old fashioned movie theater popcorn maker. Um, so that's fun to make fresh popcorn when people come over and y'all gonna watch movies and stuff. Um, let me see guys, this is interesting. Put that back together. Okay, let's put, a, let's put a chocolate chip in that one. I don't know if you guys ever heard of gingerbread chocolate chip cookies. I have never. I've never, but I'm gonna do it. We're gonna try it today. Okay, here's some of it. I'll bring these two together because I don't think they belong apart. Alright guys, I think that's it. So let me um let me match this one together. I don't think it's supposed to be by itself, honestly. I think these were gingerbread men. We'll have a do-over. <laughs> I'll make another, I'll buy another pack. I, that, uh, that's probably why it's two for five, because they know you're going to fumble the first one, and then you'll get it together on the second round. <laughs> like, no, go on and give them two, and then they'll get it together. Anyway, so... Alright guys, so now I'm going to put these cookies in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to put these cookies in the oven. Like I said, it's only going to take like 8 to 10 minutes. And that oven is hot. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to um, individually wrap the lemon dill salmon um, burger patties and put those in the oven. I cooked those for about 25 minutes. Okay, so let's see. Let me grab those. guys so here are our lemon dill burger patties i got these from Publix. don't forget 5.99 each um and sometimes if they're already pre-packed in the two packs then it'll just be like i don't know somewhere between 7.99 and 8.99 so um let me put this salad dressing on individually wrapping these salmon fillets um, and I'm literally going to just put them right in the oven and they're going to cook for the next uh, 25 minutes. It's not going to take long because they're they're very well thawed out. Um, they're not frozen and if you wanted to do something extra what you could do is coat these in a the little olive oil and you could also um, squeeze some fresh lemon juice on them. Like for example, you could get a little, um, let me show y'all, hold on. You could get a little plate. This is the, considered a saucer, but to me it's kind of like a saucer and bowl in one because it, it's a salad plate. You see how it's a salad plate because it has the raised sides. But this is the perfect plate for you to just add a little olive oil. Okay, add a little olive oil. And then you add a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. Then you add a little lemon juice. Totally up to you. If you want to use fresh lemons, that is perfect. That's even better. Um, and then you could add a 
little bit of lemon pepper. Okay, you can add a little lemon pepper, voila. And then you just open up your, um, open up your fillets, okay? And then you're just gonna slide each one into that mixture. Ah, let me get a um, napkin. Okay, guys. So, this is my little napkin if you're wondering what's hanging out in my pocket. Okay? Um, and then you just get your aluminum foil. Literally all I need like two. Aluminum foil. Right? And I'm pull it out. You're gonna pull your patty out and wrap it up. Depending on how many guests you have, you want to assign, if you're going to do side salads, like this size saucer that I'm showing you guys, is um, the perfect side salad. So, if you're doing side salads, then two salmon burger patties is going to make four side salads for you. If you're going to do full salads, then you need... Um, two more, two, so you need one patty per adult, okay? So I'm just going to slide this in the oven like so, and remember it's going to be, it smells good in there by the way, I can already smell the gingerbread, um, and so then we're finished, we're finished with our, um, lemon juice, lemon pepper flavored, or seasoned olive oil mix. Um, and that took like what? That took like five seconds to do that. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is bring together our Caesar salad. And I'm actually going to add um, the rest of this Caesar salad non-dairy dressing and marinade. I'm going to add that to my Caesar salad. And remember, this is by Primal Kitchen, and it comes from Target, okay? So, we have this. Um, as far as avocados, y'all can add as much avocado as you want. When you're hosting, I don't put the avocado in the salad right away. I wait until I prepare each individual salad. And then I ask the person if they want avocado. And then if they do, I slice the avocado over top of the salad and add some black pepper if they want that. And then hand it to them. Um, because you don't want avocado just setting. It's different if you're making your salad for yourself. Then you can toss it in there and close it up. Who cares? You're going to eat it. But when you're presenting it, um, it needs to be fresh. And that needs to be the last thing that you're putting on your salad, okay guys? So what I'm gonna do so that my salad can be nice and crisp and cool, I'm gonna get me some Tupperware. And I should have already gotten this out because the Tupperware is kind of challenging around here. Oh, you know what I might use? Let me see if I have this because I do like to use this bag. Okay, 
got this set from Ross Dress for Less. And I really like it for salads, pasta salads, um, fruit salads, um, for hosting. Because this nice lid, you can just keep it out, put it on the buffet, whatever, in the middle of the table. And then everybody can keep, you can, and cookies too. This is good for putting cookies too, when you're hosting, or just period after you make cookies. And then you guys can just keep going in there, getting it, and then closing it back. And it keeps everything fresh. And I, this was, and I want to say this was less than ten dollars when I bought this. But I'm gonna make the salad in this um, because it keeps it really cool. It gets cold quickly. Um, so that's why we're gonna put the salad in real quick. Let me rinse it, and then we're gonna put our salad. And the salad is not gonna take long. Tell us comment below if you all like Caesar salad. If you all like salmon Caesar salad, and you would like to see it. As a part of the menu for your next game night, and you love for somebody special to put these different things together for you, comment down below. Um, because I'm definitely in support of good men having a great time on their time off and being nourished. Nourished, nourished, nourished. Having a good time. There's nothing like getting together with friends and family and enjoying good food and, um, you know, going from there. I love the fact that this also has um, these candles on the sides because it makes it so much easier to do what you gotta do. Okay, guys. So, we got our salad container together. We're going to put the lid over here. I'm just going to leave it there. Boom. Okay, so now we're going to open up. We're going to open up our salad. And by the time I finish with this salad, the cookies should be done. I'm going to pull them out. And um, we're going to start prepping the next thing. And then I'm going to come back in the next video for you guys. Where you can see um, the next stages of this meal. Because my super long videos disappear. And I like it better that you guys can watch, pick and choose what you really want to watch. But, um, okay, so I opened up, this is by Fresh Express, this is their Caesar salad kit, and here's the pack, so this has the croutons, the salad dressing, the aged parmesan, all of that is there, and here is our little lettuce, um, what I do want to do before I just throw that in there, I'm going to um, rinse the lettuce with a little kosher salt and um, purified water in my colander. Let me show you guys real fast. So these are my colanders. This is what I use to rinse my pasta, to clean my vegetables everything and I'm just gonna literally throw all this lettuce, this romaine lettuce right in here. You see how nice and easy that is? And then I'm just gonna to toss this. This looks great. Look at that guys. Looks great. And hmm there's nothing else left in here. Anyway, um and I'm just gonna to toss some sea salt on there. Let me just show you. Well, it's going to make a mess, so I'm not going to show you, but, um, as far as I know, it's empty, and I'm going to get my salt, I'm going to get my salt, it's around here somewhere, I smell those cookies, I'm going to get my salt, oh lord, what did I do, I dropped something, guys. Oh, that was my lid. Oh, here's my salt right here. Okay, let's see about the lid. Where's the lid go? I heard it go somewhere. 
Did y'all see that? Okay, we'll find the lid in a minute. Let me get my salt going. And then, let me get my salt and my purified water. If you guys don't know, I use bottled water to cook with. I think it is. Hold on. bottle of water. This is the Target brand and it's purified water. Um, so if you were ever to come over my house and you saw bottles and bottles of purified water, it's because I cook with it. I cook with, I cook with, stop it. I cook with purified water. put Charles outside when I cook, but it's 50 degrees. Okay guys, so now I'm just throwing, this, throwing the lettuce in this container. Okay, so we're finished with that. Boom. Okay, so we're finished with that guys. And then what we're going to do things you have to like focus power through. Because I bet y'all are looking like really like this is annoying. Stop it! I'm getting worried. I think I'm going to take them out. Okay, so I'm putting that. 
about guess I'm adding about um, one cup of Caesar dressing so okay. it tastes really good I tasted it just now tastes really good okay thank you Lord for putting my hands on the croutons finish this recipe I'm so I'm so lost as to um what I did that quickly to lose a whole bag of croutons okay let's see so Let me see if I put it over here. No. I didn't put it over here. I guess we'll find them later. Um. Yeah. I guess we'll find them later. So. Now what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Oh yeah. statement that I made earlier about putting that oil that we use for the raw fish I take that back I'm not going to encourage you guys to add the remaining of that to the salad because I don't I don't we're not cooking the salad so if there was like anything in there I wouldn't want like live cultures or whatever in the salad so now i'm just gonna toss the salad back and forth oh lordy what is going on with this salad thing i don't know but anyway i'm just tossing it and now i'm gonna put this in the refrigerator so i'm gonna put this to the side because i want to get the cookies out and i don't want them to burn so Putting the salad to the side, and then let's get the cookies out because I'm worried about them. I'm worried about the cookies, guys. I'm definitely concerned about the cookies. All right, let's see what happens with these cookies because they smell, they smell good, but it's concerning. Okay, I'm gonna. Let the cookies. Anybody need a dog? Anybody looking for that Christmas dog? Anyway, um, so I'm gonna let the cookies cool down. I'll put them on a plate and I'll post the picture on IG. I'll taste it and put it on my TikTok and tell you guys what I think about making gingerbread dark chocolate chip cookies. Charles. Um, and then I'll show you guys what the salad ended up looking like um, when I put the avocado over top and when I'm presenting it, okay? So definitely hang in there with me. 
Charles should be asleep after 30 minutes, but um, I'll come back. There'll be part two, part three, part four. I think there's part five parts to this um, series finale. Okay, so we've gotten the Caesar salad together. We're baking the salmon, and um, we got about 20 more minutes to go on the salmon. Um, and then I'll come back, I'll cut that salmon up for you all, add it to the salad and put the avocado over top and bon appetit. And now we're gonna get ready to go into making our stuffed bell peppers. So don't go anywhere. Matter of fact, like, share, comment, subscribe and click on the next video, part two. Stop recording video, button.